Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing an eight and a half by 11 double page layout and it's basketball themed. I showed you a few photos that I plan on using. Two of them were white cardstock. One of them I actually print as a three by five instead of a two by three. The wood veneer pieces are by Shandy's Itsy Shop and she does have her shop back open. So I will leave a link down below and you can pick up some items if you would like. And these stickers here are from Paper House, I believe. Yeah, and they're the 3D stickers. They're kind of on the thicker side. I'll show how I take them down a little bit so that they're not so thick. Um, these are the Heidi Swap chipboard letters that I still have in my stash. And I'm going to get a few more of those used up on a layout. Um, I was looking at the sticker sheet here. This is from Cartabella. Most of the papers are from Cartabella, except for these two here, which are from scrapbook.com. Uh, what do they call their scrapbook customs? I think are the papers that are made by scrapbook.com. And I'm going to use those as the background, but the other papers that I pull in are going to be Cartabella. This one here I end up not using because it kind of blends a little too much with the other paper that I showed. And then these ones I'm going to use as photo mats mainly. Uh, the cut apart one I don't use at all. But I do use this orange one as the border around the layout. And then uh, the star paper which is here is a dark blue with black stars on it. I do use one of those sheets. The other sheet I don't cut into just yet. This one here I use for a photo mat um, on one of the photos. So I cut into almost all the papers except for two of them. These stickers here I brought in from my stash. I don't remember which collection those came from, but they've been in for a while. I had quite a few packs of them. They were a uh, rose gold and then a regular gold. And this gold has a little bit of an orange tint to it instead of the yellow gold. It's more of an orange coppery gold. So I'm trying to make one that matches so that I can color the wood veneer with the shimmers paints. And it works pretty well. I brought in Minor Minor 49er and then the orange that I'm using right now is Carrot Top. And then the darker orange that I uh, is off camera because I zoomed in a little bit is, uh, oh, what is it? Yam I Am? Here I Am. <laughs> is uh, and then the other one is Antique Lace. Antique Lace I kind of thought was going to be the right gold, but it's really not. So I really ended up mixing up the golds to make my own matching gold. And then the flame off of the basketball, I was trying to make it look a little unique and different. Uh, in the end, it ends up being the same gold color as the rest of the gold. And then I just have the orange basketball. And I'm using a very fine tip uh, paintbrush to color all of these. And again, if you use a little bit more water when you're doing the painting and kind of drop it on, and then if it's etched or embossed like these ones are, uh, the paint just kind of soaks into the lines and then it stops. And that's what I like. So they're pretty easy to paint. This here is a letter from... Uh, the letters on the opposite side. Uh, the U is already orange, but I'm going to highlight the sides of it to make it shimmery to match the letter T that I colored orange. Hopefully that made sense. Um, <laughs> I was just trying to get it to match with a little bit more orange. And the reason I'm adding in orange, not that the Denver Nuggets colors are orange, but with the basketball being orange and then the orange around the layout, the orange just kind of highlights the pictures. Um, since they were playing the Lakers, uh, you had blue and yellow on the court and the Nuggets colors are blue and yellow anyways. So it didn't really, there was no way to highlight one or the other. So I figured if I just went with the colors of the stickers, it would be okay. And I really like the end result. All the photos really pop at the end. So I like the way the layout turned out. And here I'm going to color the little champion cup. And this one I'm coloring with the minor minor 49er only. 
uh, the little basketball in the center, I could do color orange. But the rest of the cup, I'm coloring like the regular yellow gold color. And that's okay because it matches the photo mat that is above it um, on the layout. So there is a little bit of that goldish yellow color in the other title letters also um, from Vicky Booten. So here I'm just finishing up, I believe. Um, oh, I'm going to come play with that flame a little bit more. Um, it was kind of soaked in and it didn't really look like it was anything special. So I just went around with it one more time, trying to add in a little bit more gold to it and get it to pop a little bit more. Um, doing the same thing with the little cup, adding the 44, 40, <laughs> minor, minor 49er gold paint. And then and now I have those all painted and dried and I'm going to start matting my photos. And as you can see, I did gut the paper behind it to get the photo mat for the smaller photo. And sorry, my mic cut out. If um, I repeat anything, I'm sorry. My apologies. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to finish matting my photos. And I matted the larger one, uh, the four, <laughs> one 4 by 6 in blue, the other 4 by 6 in a yellow color. Um, that was the wood grain, like, uh, basketball court one. And then I matted the smaller photo, the two by three. It's going to be double matted since it's my son. This photo here that I'm matting and putting down is actually an internet picture of the winning shot of the game. And it does have uh, four star players in it. So that's why I wanted that photo on the layout. And pretty much those were the reasons, <laughs> those are the players we were there to watch the most. Uh, and my son was very excited to get to see them play. So here you can see I cut out the photo of the tallow and the cup. The tallow is something that the Nuggets put on the seats when you get into Ball Arena so that you have something to hold and wave around in the crowd. And as you saw, my son's little head pop in there once again. He thinks he's funny now. So that'll probably happen from time to time. I told him if he keeps doing that, I'm leaving his little head in there. Uh, these stickers are 3D stickers. So some of them are popped up on four layers of foam. So I definitely do not want four layers of foam on my layouts. So I did leave uh, two, I believe, on some of them. Most of them, if I could get them down to one, I got them down to one. Uh, and basically, they're just layered on top of each other. So I was able to peel off the back one for sure on all of them. And then uh, I think the smaller one, I peeled off one other one. But the larger one, I wasn't able to peel off any more of that one uh, without tearing it. So I didn't want to tear it. So it is a little on the thicker side. I did smash it down though in my big shot, uh, which is for metal dies. But when you run those through, it can wrinkle them. Just beware. Uh, I did put a little wrinkle in the love uh, one on the other page, but for the most part, um, it did okay, but it smashed them down. As you can see, I'm still kind of smashing it down, um, but it'll be okay. They're not that fat. It's, it's okay. Uh, I would never add that much foam, like, on my own. But I really like the stickers in the end and how it turned out, so I'm okay with it. And here I'm going to add the winning score, which was 108 to 106. Uh, like I said, that shot there is the final winning shot of the game. So we were very excited to be at this game. It was, you know, a nail biting game all the way from beginning to the end. Uh, so it was a lot of fun to watch. And I'm going to add hoop it up, up at the top on the photo. And then I'm going to add another sticker in the little, or basketball sticker. And then the other sticker that's blue with the black and white stripes says dribble pass shoot. And then down at the bottom right here, I'm putting Swish Superstar Lineup, which, you know, 
to me, it was an amazing lineup. It's LeBron James, uh, Jokic, Anthony Davis, and Murray from the Denver Nuggets. So it's, you know, all-star players in one photo, and, you know, they were the key players at the end of the game. So um, uh, I know I should have put James instead of LeBron, but um, I don't know about you guys, but anytime we talk about LeBron James, we always say LeBron. So um, I just put LeBron and then realized later I probably should have put James, but it's okay because I'm pretty sure years from now, even everybody will still be talking about LeBron James. So there you can see I added everything down. I used liquid glue to attach all my uh, letters and numbers. And now I'm going to add the wood veneer pieces. So I'm going to start with a little basketball that looks like it's has a flame behind it. I'm going to put it over here by the Swish Superstar lineup. And then I'm going to put uh, bigger stars uh, around the layout. I'm going to put one over by the Hoop It Up, one by Basketball, and then uh, the little Champion Cup I'm placing right here by Love. And then I will add another bigger star right next to line up. I was just adding a little bit of uh, cardstock to the back of that foam, or not the foam, the wood veneer. Because of the foam in love, the cup wouldn't lay flat. So that's why I added a little bit of cardstock to it. And I'm going to. Add little stars around the layout, kind of random. I didn't uh, do my usual threes or fives. I just kind of did it uh, whatever was eye appealing to me. And then the same thing with the sequence. The sequence I added in groups of threes, which I used uh, an older mix called Caramel Corn. It was a fall collection and it was blue and orange. And it has a darker orange and a lighter orange. And I'm using both of those plus the blue one. And just making little clusters of three all around the layout. So I put one by the basketball, one by hoop it up. One over by the score in between swish and the score. Another little group by superstar. A group by Davis. And then a group by Jokic. And then a group by the metal cup over by Nuggets under the basketball, but above Denver. And then up by the little sticker that says official basketball court. So once again, I just added those in groups of three all around. Um, I did speed it up, but I believe I'll cut it out. Yeah. Um, here I'm adding in sequence stars. And these are just from my stash. I got these at Dollar Tree. Um, probably three or four years ago but I did recently see them they're not in the scrapbooking area they're in the party confetti area and they're just flat black stars um, I have them in blue and red and I believe silver I think I don't think I have them in gold but I have them in silver so here I'm just adding those around and I added uh, two big ones or three big ones sorry uh, under the basketball next to Denver, and then one over by Jokic, and then one over by the basketball on the right-hand side. And then I added medium ones around the layout, kind of random. Um, I have four on one page and three on the other page, I believe. Yeah. And then I added little tiny ones, again, at random um, in the sequent clusters. So I was just trying to add a little bit more black and pretty much it gives it the final touch that it needs to finish it off. And I will add a little bit of journaling under the Denver Nuggets um, on the basketball court area. Uh, just saying, you know, the date, where we were and, you know, why we went. Um, <laughs> what else? To watch a basketball game. Um, there you go. Show you a few close-ups and I'm done with the layout. And I will see you in the next video. Tomorrow's layout will be a summer kit layout. So like and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.